have to make India a hub for production and export of green hydrogen. Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed the nation and stated this on 75th Independence Day. Green energy enhanced use can help India meet its clean energy goals. This is the fuel of the future and experts of the field are optimistic that it can form the core of clean energy in India. Aligning with this, India will soon have the world's largest green hydrogen microgrid project. The project will be set up at Simhadri, Vishakapatnam, Andhra Pradesh. This would also be India's first green hydrogen-based energy storage project and has been awarded to state-owned National Thermal Power Corporation Limited, NTPC. NTPC has been awarded the project of standalone fuel cell based microgrid with hydrogen production using electrolyzer in NTPC guest house at Simadri near Vishakapatnam. It would be a precursor to large scale hydrogen energy storage projects. The project is in line with India's vision to become carbon neutral by 2070 and make Ladakh a carbon neutral territory. The hydrogen would be produced using the advanced 240 kilowatt solid oxide electrolyzer by taking input power from the nearby floating solar project. Earlier, NTPC had commissioned the development of India's biggest floating solar plant in Telangana's Rama Gundam. The hydrogen produced during the day will then be stored at high pressure and would be electrified using a 50 kilowatt solid oxide fuel cell. It will be working in a standalone mode from 5 pm to 7 am in the morning. Clean energy development is an important weapon against climate change and limiting its devastating effects. The project will be useful for further studying and deploying multiple microgrids in various off grid and strategic locations of the country. Another advantage of the in-house project designed by NTPC is that it will open prospects for decarbonizing, that is, removing or reducing the number of gaseous carbon compounds released in the environment, the far-off regions of the country, such as Ladakh, Jammu and Kashmir, etc., which are dependent on diesel generators. Speaking of Ladakh, the power giant NTPC REL, a 100% subsidiary of NTPC, had signed an MOU with the Union Territory of Ladakh to set up the country's first green hydrogen mobility project in the region in July 2021. Speaking at the COP26 Climate Conference Summit held in Glasgow, Scotland in November, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said, India is aiming for net zero carbon emissions by the year 2070. The statement came as a surprise for the world as the third largest emitter of greenhouse gases globally set a target for net zero carbon emissions. The question remains, will India be able to achieve its 2070 target? Well, for now, India is largely dependent on fossil fuels and the country's demand is expected to rise sharply over the next decade. The target set by India is very much achievable when taken together with other targets for 2030 that PM Modi has announced at the summit, which includes India will expand its renewable energy capacity to 500 gigawatts by 2030. Around 50% of its energy needs would come from renewable resources. It will reduce total projected carbon emissions by a billion tons between now and 2030. India will reduce the carbon intensity of its economy by less than 45%. The pledges will provide policy certainty to industry to invest in decarbonization technologies and will also inspire India's states and cities to set their own net zero pathways to development. Well, that is all for today's segment. Thank you for watching.